Minister Gungubele talked about the importance for South Africa to fully digitally migrate in a world where demand for high-speed connectivity is growing and an essential component to support the country's future economic prospects. The analog switch off is a critical step that enables the risk of spectrum and position South Africa for next generation technologies. By taking this next step, we are making it possible for the companies that bought spectrum to finally proceed with investment that can be undertaken. The minister says since the beginning of government subsidised set-top box registration process, specifically geared towards poorer households, some 1.5 million applications have been received. And while government had said that the cut-off date for registration of the same was September 2022, the minister says latecomers have been given grace. We have been monitoring applications that were received after the 30th September 2022 cut-off date and we are continuing to receive late applications for government subsidized set-top boxes. We cannot leave anyone behind and we have resolved to support those who registered after 30th September 2022 deadline till such a time that we have fully migrated the country to digital. The SABC and other industry players said they were in favour of the two-step phase analog switch-off date. I think uh, for, for, for us as the SABC, uh, the, the process that the minister has outlined, we, we support it uh, because we participated in the crafting of this process. Um, the the switch-off process uh, also contributes significantly uh, in the economy of our country. So, so that, that is the reason why we support it. And for us uh, as the SABC, this, the, the switch off is a delicate process because it does have implications uh, for our audience ratings and our revenue uh, generation efforts. But this process uh, cushions us and we view it as a responsible process. We, f we fully support uh, the switch off dates that have been announced by the minister. Uh, I think the the staggered approach uh, allows will allow certainly will allow the uh, the broadcasters to move smoothly to towards the end of the, the migration uh, process. The key broadcast signal distributor Centec was also in support of the date and explained why the migration to a fuller digital reality would be so significant for South Africans. Analog is uh, an efficient in its uh, the technology uh, form. Uh, it utilizes a lot of spectrum, uh, which holds the country's development back. It utilizes a lot of energy, uh, Minister, and uh, the scarce resource needs to be preserved for other uses. And it needs a lot of human capacity to manage as well. So the digital technology brings about that efficiency. So when we are in the digital technology, we are able to do a little bit more, but also from a content point of view, it offers a multi-channel environment and the quality of services uh, is, is, is very clear. Last year's Spectrum auction to mobile telcos, which was managed by the communications regulator ICASA, netted over 14 billion rand. However, the telcos were only obliged to pay as a proportion of the Spectrum that they could access. But with the latest two-step phase out of analog, this will now get them closer to being able to actually utilize the Spectrum that was licensed to them. The band uh, 694 to 862. Uh, the important part for us now is since the band will be cleared by the end of uh, July 2023, they will have to pay the full amount of the auction fee. And those amounts are also in the public domain. We did publish those amounts and uh, we, we, we expect them to pay that amount of uh, the, the, at least the balance towards the end of uh, September or beginning of September. Soon, all South Africans will be participating in the global digital revolution, with the Department of Communications and Digital Technologies also undertaking to share upcoming endeavours that seek to ensure that particularly the youth are skilled up in the digital arena to take advantage of the growth and development prospects in the ICT sector. Nampumelelo Siziba, SABC News, Johannesburg.